Hey, how's it going? It's Harv here from Smith & Martin, and I was asked to give you a guided tour through some tutorials of Emulator Pro. For those of you who don't know, Emulator Pro is a software that comes paired with Smith & Martin's hardware and allows you to create custom templates and make programs touchscreen and use them the way that you want them to. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are on the desktop. You're going to want to just click the install file. Click there. Next and I am on a touch screen but I'm using a mouse just so you guys can see where I'm clicking just finish up and it'll launch the program. So you see down here at the bottom left there's an update available we're gonna do constant updates for you guys just making the program better and better so click there if you ever see an install and you'll just go through a second install really quick so now you know how to update so here we go same idea Alright, so this is the main menu. You'll see BDJ, which is uh, something coming in the future and we'll talk about then. You'll see a help link. It'll lead you to documents in case you want to read up on certain things. Uh, we have a lock, so when you're DJing and you walk away, people won't mess with your DJ system or set. You can open back up. And here's the wall. This is where you can communicate with your audience. You can either have images here where you can resize and put logos, or you can just draw on the screen. Here is a poorly drawn heart that I just touched. Uh, you can write messages, and if you were on the Elite, which has a transparent screen, you can actually press the invert button down here, and you, the audience will be able to see it the proper way. You can actually get pretty creative, too. You can press this color button, and every time you lift up, it'll be a different color. We see people get really creative and draw paintings and pictures all over this thing. And, of course, you can have your logos, and it's just different. You can communicate with your crowd, write the messages. You can make it all go away just by pressing clear and back to main by pressing main. Right here is where you register your software in case you want to. And up here are the settings. If you click, in case anything's not working, make sure emulator MIDI in is set to in and emulator MIDI out is set to out. And that is your minimizer. That's how you work with other softwares like Tractor um, in and out of the program. It doesn't shut down the program. Make sure you, so there you go, in and out. Uh, if you do want to shut down the program completely, that's closed. Make sure you do not do that during a set. Open it back up and it's there for you. So let's just get to the main thing. This is where you create your templates. You click here. So here is the updated Emulator Pro. Even the editor looks different. You can see there's a grid everywhere. If you want it to look back the way it used to, you can just click grid mode off down here. And so we have plenty of options. Constructor, these uh, undos, these saves. We have different buttons that you can make, the different pages. And we'll go through this all in future tutorials. But for now, let's just get used to the program, get it familiar with it. And for tutorial two, we'll probably go through making an actual template. So this is where you would save your template. Uh, you can actually put your name and country and photo on it. So when you trade templates, people know it belongs to you. And if you're working with a team, you can write notes and tell people if things aren't working or if uh, things need to be done, need to be mapped. You want to make sure right here, this is the resolution. You want to make sure everything's matched up properly. Everything's looking right. Go back to the main page, click main page, and we will start doing constructing templates with Tractor next week and subscribe and if you have any questions make sure you let us know and we'll answer next week thanks for watching